All right, all right, it's dinner time. Let's see what I can whip up for the family and I. Tonight's meal will consist of some good old T-bone steak, cooked medium well. So firstly, I lather up my pot with some good old butter to avoid it sticking and add flavor. Next, I apply my season and spices to both sides of the steak. I use the little garlic powder, meat tenderizer, black pepper, and season salt, ensuring to give my steak plenty flavor. I know some people like to use green peppers and onions, etc. That's not really our thing. We don't get into all the onions and all that. Keep it pretty simple. We all are pretty picky eaters. Next, we're gonna go with some rice. My wife boils her water first, then apply the rice. I was taught completely opposite. We always rinse our rice as well for any impurities. Next, gonna pair the rice up with some good old baked beans. My babies love beans. It's one of the few meals that they clean their whole plate. Being a part of such a big family, we're not always on the same page when it comes to eating. And we try our very best to at least meet the kids in the middle. I remember how I felt in my youth when my mom kept trying to feed me okra and canned tomatoes and mixed vegetables, stuff she knew I hated. It's like, dang, do you even care what I like to eat? But anyway, had a triggering moment. But yeah, rice is complete, you see it. Beans is complete, as well as everything else. Now what would beans be without a good old dash of sugar? And can't forget Worcestershire sauce on the meat. Now that everything has been prepared, it's time to fix everyone's plate. One for my wife and I, a plate for my three sons, and a plate for my two daughters. My dog, baby, baby girl, Michaela, just turned eight months yesterday, and she's not on table food yet. She's still eating solids at the moment, but there will be an eighth plate being prepared once she is ready to eat. Me, an only child with no siblings, created a family of eight. Now that is surreal. Nevertheless, I always knew I would have a big family someday to accommodate for all the lonely nights as an only child and have the opportunity to rewrite what fatherhood means. Fatherhood, parenting, comes with no manuscript or owner's manual. I just decided that I apply everything that I missed in my childhood and that'll be a start to breaking the chains of fatherless households. Just imagine how far we can go in this life with the right support and positive guidance. And I will be just that for all of my children. I've started teaching my boys how to cook as well. We're not raising any trifling individuals over here, big on independence.